Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your daily, your, your Valentine's Day reading for 2021. This is a general love reading. Doesn't always have to be romantic. This could be your energy or your person's energy. Um, if this is not your story at all, which it's possible, it's not going to resonate with everybody. Check out your other planetary placements, your sun rising and then, and even Venus. I personally don't resonate with my Venus readings at all. Some people do, some people don't. I don't. I usually just, it's usually my rising moon and sun sign. Of course, my rising and my moon are the same. Both of them are Libra. So, but anyhow, uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and make sure that notification bell is hit so you are notified when I upload new videos, when I do my giveaways and announcement of my winners. My current giveaway is my Valentine's Day giveaway where I'm giving away a free half hour session with me via Zoom. The winner will be announced on Valentine's Day. It is a $65 value. And and so you want to, and the way to enter is in the comments below. You do a hashtag Valentine's Day reading. Okay. So, and if you like a personal reading with me, if, like say you're not one of the winners, um, all the information is on my website at mysticgen.com. Click on readings. Okay. So let's go ahead and get dig into your energies. We're, we're going to start with the tarot and we'll do some romance angel cards at the end. Okay. So let's see. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, clarity, messages and guidance, please, for Scorpio. Clarity, messages, guidance for Scorpio. What is going on with Scorpio for Valentine's Day? Nine of Wands reversed, or Nine of Swords reversed with the Three of Wands. Page of Cups reversed. Eight of Cups Five of Pentacles reversed. Queen of Wands. The High Priestess. Three of Swords. The Emperor reversed. And the Ten of Swords. <clears throat> okay. I know what a lot of you are thinking, Scorpio. You're saying, oh my gosh, all these swords, all these reverse cards, all these bad cards. No. Um, underneath the deck is the Empress. That's the energy you are moving into, my friend. You are becoming valuable. You are knowing your worth. You are knowing your value. You are placing value on yourself. You're being very independent, very abundant. This is abundance. This is somebody who is... Her shit don't stink, okay? That's the energy that you're moving into, my friend, okay? Now, <clears throat> as this looks, it's not as bad as it looks, okay? Just let me tell you that now, okay? Um, we do start off with the Three of Wands. That's your plans coming into play. Things coming in and the Nine of Swords reversed. The Nine of Swords reversed is no longer worrying about what is going to happen in the future, Okay? That is the energy that I got immediately. You know, this is you not, um, going with the flow, not worrying about the future. Just, you know, whatever happens, happens type of energy here. Because <clears throat> all that you're you focused on is your wish fulfillment, your hopes, wishes, and dreams. Okay, that is what your focus is. And you're going with the flow, whatever it takes to get there, whatever route it takes. Okay, now... You do have an external influence here, which is the Queen of Wands. This could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be one of them signs. But this is somebody, and this is not your energy. This card is almost always somebody else's energy or your environment. Okay? Now, being that this is an external influence, this is, the, this is somebody in the environment. This is somebody who is very a go-getter, a winner. They have the winning attitude. They don't give up. They're very focused. They're ambitious. 
confident, courageous. Okay? This person does not give up until they get what they want. So this could be competition that you have, that you might have been worried about, and you're thinking, I'm not worrying about the competition anymore. I'm not worrying about that other feminine energy, whether it's a man or a woman. It's a feminine energy. I'm not worrying about them anymore. Okay? Whatever happens, happens. I know what I want. I know I want to be happy. Whatever it takes to make me happy here. Okay? That's the energy I get from you. But there is definitely somebody influencing your situation, which kind of makes sense. Okay? Uh, with, you know, being worried about it and other cards I'm seeing here. Six of Swords. You know, that, that other influence, they may be moving forward. Okay, they may be moving on. Maybe that's why you are not worried about it because they are moving on because they found something else. And that does say third party. So your person, you or your third part or your person, you know, roles can be vice versa, had a third party, was cooperating with another person or multiple people here. But that might be moving past, that might be leaving here. Okay. And um what 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 your ultimate goal is. You know, you've been left out in the cold multiple times and you're trying to avoid that again, okay? You may even be feeling out in the cold now and you're trying to get to a place where you are happy, okay? You may be feeling deprived, maybe even robbed of because of the third party um, or the person in your environment. This can even be representing your person that you are with. They may be cooperating with somebody else. They may be moving on, which is... Allowing you to move on in a new direction, which I will get over to that in a minute. But what is holding you back or what is the obstacles that you are dealing with is the page of cups. But it's in reverse. It's like this is a lack of compassionate communication. A lack of vision. Okay. You know, maybe you've been being called in a new direction or on a new change in directions in your love life. Maybe there's been an offer that you've rejected because you're holding on to a current relationship. It's what I'm getting here. You may have been offered this by even by a fire sign. Okay. That would have put that almost put you in a third party, but maybe you're maybe they withdrew their offer. Okay. And you're like, okay, now I've got to make this other one work. You know, there, like I said, this is a general read. I see multiple storylines going on here. The strength. Eight of cups in your strength position represents somebody who is able to walk away from a situation on their feet. They're able to walk away with confidence. They're able to turn their back on something emotionally unfulfilling. And this is your strength, Scorpio. You know, somebody burned you. Your stinger is I'm walking away. And you're not hearing from me. I'm done. That is how you sting them back. Okay. And I'm feeling here is as a strength, you have the ability to abandon a relationship that is not working or not fulfilling. If you're afraid to be, maybe you've been left out in the cold and you're, you're, you want to go into the warmth, you're seeking help, even seeking spiritual help. That could be even you going on a spiritual journey to try to find your path. But this is a strength that you have the, you have the, Mental capability and emotional capability. It's like you are emotionally strong. Where if you have to walk away, you will do it. That's not saying that's what you're doing. That's your strength. If you have to walk away, you will do it. Okay. And what I'm feeling here is that you are definitely trusting in your intuition. There's definitely hidden knowledge, things unseen. You may be connecting, you know how I said spiritual journey here? You may be connecting to your higher self. Becoming more spiritual. Connecting with source. Connect, connecting with God or angels or your spirit guides. Okay? And I think that's a place that you are in a personal place, in a spiritual place. Now I'm getting, this is, and with, and, and this is like, I'm feeling like this is something that's been happening over the past two years, okay? Kind of feeling your way through some energy, even some difficult times with the Three of Swords here, okay? 
some really difficult times. You got the three of swords, you got the ten of swords. That is heartbreak. And eight of cups that's walking away from heartbreak. So you might be in a position of, I can't take the pain anymore. I've got, you know, I have to do something. I got to muster up that strength. That's for some of you. Now, next step forward is growth, learning, and healing with this three of swords here. This is dealing, you know, the next step that you have to take it on your path is dealing with the heartache. I think your next step you're going to do is deal with the third party. I still feel for a lot, for a majority, for somebody specific, this is a third party relationship that you are dealing with. Your person's in a third party or you are. Someone is. Most likely it's a fire sign, but it doesn't have to be. But the next step is dealing with this third party situation. Either deal with it head on and forgive or deal with it and walk away. Okay, even the Six of Swords could be you going off, you not dealing with the third party anymore, and you moving forward. That could also be the Six of Swords. There is a lot of movement, a lot of shift, a lot of movement forward, a lot of abandonment, a lot of leaving a third party or leaving a tough energy behind here. But yeah, your next step forward is dealing with some kind of heartbreak. And... You have to deal with it in order to allow healing to take place. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw a card on that three of swords because I don't like leaving that as, as it is. King of swords reversed. Okay. I think that this is the king of swords in reverse is somebody who's not being able to see things clearly. He is somebody who is indecisive, who can't make decisions. Um, he, he may even be dishonest. Because upright, he's a very honest person. Reverse is somebody who's dishonest. So there is somebody in your environment, somebody around you who's causing this heartache and this pain who's very dishonest. And I think your next step is you're going to be dealing with that. Because I think you are going to demand truth, right? You're going to demand truth. Your intuition's already tell, told you what was going on. Now I think you're going to be in a place that's, okay, what the fuck? Oops, I didn't mean to drop the F-bomb. Sorry. What on earth is going on? And the overall energy, it, it, the emperor in reverse. Knocking the emperor off his throne. That's your next step. Um, some people will say, well, you know, they see the emperor in reverse. You don't have any power. You don't this. this, this, this. No, I'm seeing this. The first thing that I got from this was knocking that emperor off his throne. Okay. Because I think you are, and that's Aries energy there. As, as Aries Taurus energy, I think you are dealing with somebody who is very much in control. It's their show and they run it how they see fit. And they say, well, you have to deal with it. This is, this is my, this is my boat. This is my ship. You want on my ship. I am the captain and you have to be submissive. You have to deal with, you know, it's like, it's like they can't do any wrong. They're always right. And I think that you, overall, you want to knock that emperor off his throne and really show him what's up. Okay. Let's get a clarifier on this. The Hierophant, more of Taurus energy. This is about, um, the Hierophant is the highest authority. So this emperor and the Hierophant in one spot is power. Superpower. And... You know, this person, this hair, it is a, this could be about a committed relationship. But somebody may, may be misusing their, their mystical powers or their spiritual powers. Somebody's misusing their spiritual powers here. And I feel as though that in order for this commitment to work, you are going to have, that emperor has to come down a peg or two. And where is this going? We have the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is a betrayal. The Ten of Swords is a lot of hurt. But it's the end of the hurt. This is putting an ending to the pain. For whatever means necessary. It's like putting an end to the pain. Seven of Wands. You're standing up for yourself. You are standing up for um, what you know is right to, in order to end that pain. And no matter what, you're going to come out on top, Scorpio. 
Seven of Swords. Yeah, th this is somebody who's been sneaking around. Somebody who's been cheating. You may even be, be behind the scenes finding out what's going on. Just saying. But I think more of you are standing up for the wrong that you feel this emperor has been doing. For the pain that this emperor has been causing. And you're, you're standing up and you're putting an end to it. It's like either you're going to shape up. We're going to have equal playing field here. Or I'm gone. King of Pentacles. Yeah. King of Pentacles in reverse is a cheater. He's not a family man. He's not authentic. He's not stable. He's not grounded. He's not reliable. The King of Pentacles is the most reliable king in the deck, I feel. I feel that, you know, upright, he's very abundant, very nurturing, very giving and generous. Reverse, he's the opposite. He is not giving into the relationship what you are, okay? Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have a lot of earth in this reading. So you may be even dealing with an earth sign or you're dealing with a fire sign. Um, but I am feeling like, I think it's ultimatum time. It's what I really feel this is. Okay. Let's see what the romance angels have for you. Stay optimistic. You need to stay optimistic about your love life. Um, that's what I, I, I kind of felt that anyhow, you're afraid of being left out in the cold again. But uh, it's like Spirit is saying, whether you're with a person or you're not, you all, you'll come out on top, you'll come out on your feet, you'll be okay. And even if this does not work out, you will find love again. This is about healing issues, you're healing family issues. You know, stay optimistic about healing a connection. Maybe this is this current connection about healing from it. Reconciliation. Okay. It feels like that there could be a reconciliation on the horizon. If you are in a current relationship, then you might be leaving that relationship to go back to another ex and reconcile. Because I don't feel, um, for some of you, this could be, you know, fixing the issues in your current relationship. Some of you, it's leaving this one and going back to another ex. And there could be a honeymoon. There could be going away. You know, I feel like, and keeping an open mind here. It is safe for you to love and letting go of control issues. So that's what you have. It's letting go of control, letting the universe handle things. Uh, keeping an open mind about things. It is safe for you to open your heart and, and love. Let things heal. Um, try to fix things. Reconciliation is on the horizon here. But you need to stay optimistic no matter how bad things look. Okay, that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Love you. Blessed be.